Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Joy of Sticks. Stickhead here with your Atari ST gaming channel. Now somebody suggested to me, you've done Star Wars, how could you possibly stop there? We need to see all of the Star Wars games available for the Atari ST. So here we are, Empire Strikes Back. Um, it's the second one, obviously. Episode 5 of the films. This arcade was released in 1985, not as its own um, full release arcade cabinet thing. They actually released a conversion kit for the original uh, and sent those out to arcade operators so that they could actually modify the old Star Wars arcade cabinet into a brand spanking new Empire Strikes Back one. Uh, I assume it had like marquees in there and, and PCBs to stick in and plug in and all sorts to convert it into a, an Empire Strikes Back. Now the ST version was released in 1988, uh, again by Vector Graphics, um, same people who did the Star Wars, so we're expecting good things. Um, but I have to confess, I've never actually played this at all on the Atari ST or the arcade, so um, I don't know. Probably not the best one to judge, but we're going to give it a go anyway. All right, let's have a crack then, shall we? Where are we? Okay, so we get a choice of difficulties like before. I'm going to go with uh, Wuss difficulty, not Jedi. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, uh, have that. And now, apparently, I have to shoot the probe droids and their transmissions to stop them. It's very difficult to stop them from, no, from communicating with Darth Vader. Why isn't he destroying? Come on! What kind of bullet sponge is he? Already, I can tell this is a lot tougher than the original Star Wars, at least on the ST. Um, as far as the arcade game is concerned, I have no idea. So here we go. We're obviously still on the surface of half. This time we are... Oh, look at that. Managed to take out a walker by shooting it. We're getting some horrific slowdown. I don't remember there being any slowdown on the original. I keep calling it the original, but I, you know what I mean. The I'm talking about Star Wars on the ST. But this is slowing to a crawl when there's a load of vehicles on the screen. All my tow cables have gone. Help! <laughs> what was that? I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. Shooting stuff. And we're into the Rebel Hideout. Yes. I assume I did well. Shoot the fireballs, okay? Shoot the TIE Fighters. Will do. If I get a chance. Yeah, it seems the added complexity in the game has caused a few problems on the old ST. It doesn't quite play as smoothly as the original, and these tyres are a lot harder to hit. Come on, I was right on him then. Yeah, it seems a lot more difficult than... Uh, oh, we're in the uh, Millennium Falcon now. Avoiding, avoiding... Steering down, see? No, no, no. Maybe not. Oh, my word. Steering down to the side. Seems to avoid everything. There you go. I'm gonna hide on the thing. That's what Han does, doesn't he? Hides on the little thing. Wave completed. Yes. Get in. You will join us or die. <laughs> So difficult to stop those transitions. 
I've made two already. There's a third. <laughs> you can't really see it, that's the problem. There we go, I've got that one. Get out of it! No! How are you supposed to... Oh, hello! Oh dear. How are you supposed to stop those? I've no idea. Probably shouldn't use tow cables on the ones that are facing us, because if I shoot the red windows, I can destroy them. So I should be concentrating tow cables on the ones that are facing us. Unfortunately, a great deal of them are facing away from us. All tow cables gone seem like there's a lot I can do. Yeah, those things definitely disappear into a, into words saying help, don't they? Only limited success as a pilot this time. <laughs> Takes a lot of concentration. I realise I'm not saying very much, but uh, there we go, we're done. Oh. Oh, the dark side wins. So yeah, that's... it's obviously kind of more of the same, but a lot harder. And the increased complexity has caused the slowdown, which takes away from the experience a lot. I don't see any point in playing that at all. Unless you're an absolute master of the original and you need something else, you need more of a challenge. I don't know, but the first game, Star Wars, is far superior to that. Far superior. Anyway, let's have a little look, shall we? Did I actually end up typing anything in? Where is my name? I don't think I made it to the table, did I? I'm trying to shoot letters, I didn't even make the table. Oh, no, I don't want to play again, please. <laughs> yeah, so let's see what the reviewers made of it, shall we? Uh, I did manage to find one review, and only the one, unfortunately, uh, and it was from ST Action. They gave it 75%. Uh, they liked it. They said, obvious that Vector Graphics had produced another cracker but then they bemoan uh, the abrupt end to the game. There's no, they say there's no real climax. Uh, like in the original game, you, you're flying towards Death Star, shooting TIE Fighters, then you swoop down to the surface, then into the trench, and then you blow up the Death Star, and that's the climax, boom. Whereas this one doesn't really have one. You know, it has that Vader face, and <laughs> that's it. Uh, but, you know, that's not the game's fault, is it, really? Uh, it's the film's fault, if anything. I mean, I think Empire Strikes Back is the best film out of all the Star Wars movies, the new one included. Uh, but yeah, the film has that kind of anticlimactic, oh dear, it's all going a bit wrong kind of thing. So you can't really build in a positive climax into the game if you're going to... Uh, um, I'm actually, I've just realised something. All this is doing is turning left and it's actually doing better. It's doing better than I did when I was trying my best. Uh, never mind. Some more practice needed, I feel. Uh, yeah. And it also says about how it's similar. Similar to the first one. Of course it is. Because it's, you know, it was a conversion. Not a conversion. A, a modification of the original. So it's bound to be. Uh, but they said it's nice to transition between the Snow Speeder and the Millennium Falcon. And actually, the... The review rags on it quite a bit <laughs> after saying that it's quite good. But there you go. Forget what I said earlier. I actually managed to find some more reviews, so I'm kind of slotting them in the middle here like some kind of retro gaming time traveller. And uh, yeah, I managed to find this one. This one is from Atari ST user. Now, they gave it 8 out of 10, so, you know, very good score there. 
uh, and they, the reviewer says fans of the original game will welcome this with open arms and if you haven't seen it before then why on earth not it's a brilliant game so buy it <laughs> I think he was working on commission there the the um, this second opinion here second sight they used to call it an Atari ST user uh, he says that uh, the original was a great game uh, and he was hooked but he says that Empire is too similar uh, it doesn't offer anything different from the first game um, you know so it's you know it's good but uh, and also he says it's too easy uh, Roland Wadilove there is obviously some kind of android because I find it much more difficult but there you go he's obviously uh, you can understand it yeah of course it's very similar to the original but then the original arcade was similar to the original Star Wars arcade um, because it was a modification of that so you know what can they do not a lot I suppose not a lot poor old vector graphics all right and I found this one as well from Ace I just love Ace reviews I mean what were they on <laughs> what were they on <laughs> When they started making their magazine, I thought, yeah, let's review out of a thousand. Nobody reviews out of a thousand. It'll be brilliant. No, it'll be crap. Uh, they gave it 665. Not 664. No, 665. IQ factor one. <laughs> IQ factor what? And look at the predicted interest curve. What is that all about? See, how can you predict somebody's interest in a game? and how long it will last and where it will spike and trough and peak oh, I love you Ace, I love you anyway they say it captures all the flavour and fun of the original coin up, but there's a lack of variety and challenge so if you ask someone else who found it too easy I obviously suck there you go what else have we got, oh yeah Games Machine reviewed it too and what did they say, hang on let me, let me have a look let me zoom in oh, they gave it 89% can you believe it 89% I mean come on what did they say about it glowing 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 <clears throat> well they reviewed it on the spectrum and gave that one 87% so it would be interesting to hear what you think of the spectrum if you've, if you've played that version uh, yeah so it basically says superb conversion but it says greatly improved over Star Wars what I, I prefer the other reviews where they just said it's more of the same because it is more of the same but they made it complicated so they slow down and it's too hard but this guy says improved over start wow okay whatever you say uh, graphics are animated extremely well no they're not there's lots of slowdown uh, though, the, though the game itself is an old one the SD conversion is great and remains highly addictive so there you go, that's their opinion. All right, let me know what you think of the game. Uh, have you played this version? Did you play the original? Uh, what was it like? Did you play any other conversions? Please let me know in the comments below. It's always fantastic to hear from you. And uh, as always, subscribes, likes, shares, always greatly appreciated. Um, thank you very much for watching and do take care.